great I am. That's right. See? And therefore, in realizing our purpose, our quest on earth is to continue to gain knowledge. Never stop. That's the only purpose man of on earth and to remember the true and living God and give praises. All the other things then are ancillaries that will come along as long as you obey the law. You strive to obey the laws of man, but what about the laws of the creator? We see in this time as Rastafarians, years we have been telling people, read your Bible, remember it. Write it on the table of your heart because a time is going to come when men shall seek to change the word of it and even change it themselves and remove it. That's right. And we're witnessing that in this time. We're witnessing that in this time. We don't need no, no more proof because if we did not see these things, we would have said prophecy was wrong. We see all the prophecy fulfilling right in front of our eyes, day and night. Haven't you witnessed the three days of blackout when the sun turned to darkness? They say it was a sandstorm from the Sahara. Haven't you seen all the pestilence and plague from the locusts and the... On it, big on it, big something where I fly around, look like some drone, some mini drone. Haven't you seen the chaos and the riots in the streets and the pestilence and plagues and disease and in diverse places, earthquakes and tsunamis and typhoon and bird falling out of the sky and fish washing up on the shore? The what else are you waiting to see? Mm -hmm. The world is upside down and chaos, chaos ensues. So, therefore, we now have to make sure that we know, we know which side we are on. Two forces are fighting in the earth right now. One is good and one is evil. The dark forces, the dark forces are using the powers that they have, which is anger, rage, and all these destructive forces. And I see my people in America being caught up as a tool and a pawn. And I look at six children that in America and the vices that I hear champion, I don't hear none of them say anything about it. My thing is this, as a people, let us fix us. We don't need no outside help to fix us because we've been good at destruction. We're the most destructive people you can think of. So we have learned the art of destruction. Let us build. We don't need no help to destroy. We can do that all by ourselves. That's right. Okay? When I go to the great United States of America and I go to some of the inner cities where black people should live, the dilapidated condition pains my very heart. It's upside down. Yes? We don't come to stand up on a soapbox because if the Americans wish to pick their conscience, they would reveal the truth that one of the firmest men who came to the America in the early 20s was Marcus Darby. He was invited by Frederick Douglass who died upon his arrival. He never even got to meet him. And he expounded upon the principles of blackness and black morality, black strength, black fundamentals, black progress, black business, black ownership, black everything. Mm -hmm. And they ridiculed him. Right. That's right. They mocked him. Instead of owning our own, we seek to integrate into what other people had. When you, when you, when you rent a house, you cannot dictate to the owner of the house what you want to put in that house as a structure is concerned. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you integrate into something, you cannot dictate. We need more and more house, more black colleges, more Howard. You understand? Education is the freedom for my people, you know. Not a political party. Mm -hmm. Give my people the tools that you have been holding back from them. You've been kept Africa down. You keep Africa down for four or five hundred years. Right. Build your nations, build your empires. Yes? And yeah. every time a brain spring up in Africa, you try to export it to Europe. We have to grow and solidify, unify around who we are. We're so busy trying to amalgamate and trying to mix in that we're losing ourselves rapidly. No sense of purpose, no identity. Look at all the chaos in America and some of the songs that are coming out. I wonder what universe these brothers live in. Mm -hmm. Will you continue to make money off your people by leading them down the wrong path, will you continue to drive these flashy cars and then reach yourself? After the demise of our people, when they need you now, where are you? What do you have to tell them? I'm sorry, guys. 
No, don't be sorry. I, 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 need, I, want, I, want, I want all of this jewelry. I want all of this yeah. jewelry. And, and you know what I love about it? The consistency of your message. Because even when you go back and listen to songs like Champion and Murderer and songs uplifting our black women like Love Me Brown. And I think that message for you has continued to today to Upside Down 2020. It's always been consistent with you. And, you know, I might have heard those songs and not thought about what it was about until you listen later on to the actual lyrics. Like you sing along, you, you know, you dance to it, and then you're like, oh, but we are champions. And of what's course wrong? we are. Mm -hmm. Well, you have to understand, history is not written by those who were conquered. History is always written by the conquerors. And that's why it's called history. So if you've written two words up, you'll find his story, not mine, not yours. We have to continually tell our story. Our story must, is like a folklore because they try their very best to hide it. So we put it in songs. We put it in our raps to tell our story. Yeah? Our women, remember, you get the man, you destroy him in front of the woman, you show her that he's powerless in defending her. She cowers, thinking that he's indeed powerless to defend her against this great tyrant. She loses our respect. No, we have to, and we perpetrate this loss of respect as men. We bitch them out, all kind of things. So when we sing songs like you're appreciated, mm -hmm. love sponge, love my browning. I'm in a lovely state of mind because I couldn't be there without the female. So we have to always remind the brothers that, hey, the duality of our purpose is not only singular, you know. <laughs> we have a pure nature, we have to love them. <laughs>